Hi, and welcome to this 4NAV coffee break. My name is René Brummel. I'm a product specialist at 4NAV, and I will be your presenter today. As this coffee break is live, you can ask your questions via the GoToWebinar question window. We will answer them at the end of the coffee break. Today, we are going to move your 4NAV reports from Sandbox to production in Business Central. This coffee break will focus specifically on new and cloned reports. The Save, Import, Export and Activate Custom Business Central Layouts coffee break will explain how to move coffee custom layouts to productions. To demonstrate how to automatically archive business and sorry, to demonstrate how to move business central reports, we will create a new report. You can move any FourNav report in any, in any extension to production using the instructions from this coffee break. To demonstrate moving reports to production, I'm going to use these steps. Prerequisites, what do I need to get going? In step two, I will set up the default backup location. In step three, I will download a report extension from my Sandbox server. In step four, I will upload my report extension to production. Let's start with the first step. Today, I will, I will be moving reports to production in a Business Central on-premise Docker installation with the Business Central 2020 Wave 2 release. Of course, everything I do today is also available on the Business Central Cloud environment. I also have the 4NAV Designer installed on my PC. The 4NAV Designer can be downloaded from the 4NAV website. Please note that you will need version 5.5 or higher to enable automatic backups. The first thing I need to do is to enable the automatic backup for my 4NAV reports. Once I have done that, all my reports will automatically be saved on my hard drive. The backup is managed locally on the designer computer and therefore it is user specific. This is particularly important to note if you have several users working on the same project. In general, we recommend GitHub for source control and storing your code. This backup feature should not be seen as a replacement for that. Source control in GitHub for Business Central and 4NAV reports explains how to work with GitHub source control. So let's go to the 4NAV designer and start enabling our automatic backup. In the settings, we have a new tab called backup. And in the backup, you can specify the location of your backup files. You will notice for me, it is on my uh, in my documents folder of my uh, user drive. So this user drive is not backed up or anything. Uh, there's, no, uh, there's no backup in this, but at least this will allow for NAV to, uh, to store everything that I've done. So. Let's go and actually do something. Let's uh, clone a report. So I will open a report from a server. I'll grab the 4NAV customer list and I will create a copy. And that will create my new report for me. So let's make some changes. I will call it for enough my customers. And I will change the caption as well. So we all know what to look for. And then I will simply save this as an object on the server that will create a new extension for me. And of course that extension is the extension we will be uploading to production later on. The extension was uploaded success successfully to Business Central, which means that in Business Central, if I log in again, I now have my four and a half my customers extension. And in my designer backup folder, uh, this PC documents four and a half designer backup. In the servers, I now have a new folder called BC174 nav in there. I have my 4NAV My Customers app, which 4NAV has uh, um, backed up for me automatically. Similarly, if you just close this and let's create a custom layout, let's simply grab the 4NAV template and create a custom layout. Save as custom layout on the server. You will notice that in my backup folder, I now have a custom layout RDLC file 
which has been backed up automatically as well. So that's how the automatic backups work in 4NAV. Of course, I can also download my 4NAV reports extension from my sandbox. Uh, I can do that with the 4NAV designer. So if I go to the 4NAV designer, you'll notice we have the, uh, the extensions button here. And in the extension button, I can download an extension from my system. And if I click that, I get a list of all of my extensions where we can find the 4NAV My Customers extension. I can simply download this to my downloads folder and hit save. The extension was successfully downloaded. So now I have two ways of downloading the extension from my production environment. Uh, ready, sorry, two ways of downloading the extension, the extension from my sandbox environment ready to upload to production. Finally, once we have our extension app file, we can upload it to our production server. Here we have two options. For Business Central Cloud Systems, we need to deploy our extensions from the extensions page in Business Central. For Business Central On-Premise system, Systems, we need to deploy our extensions with the 4NAP Designer. This is a change that Microsoft has made. Uh, you can't upload an on-premise extension uh, directly from the, uh, from the user interface of Business Central. Please note, it is possible to block the, de the, the deployment of extensions from the 4NAP Designer in an on-premise system. If that's the case, please get in touch with your Business Central partner, uh, because if that's the case, you will either need to upload your extensions with PowerShell or your Business Central partner may need to open your uh, Business Central system so you can upload extensions with the 4NAP designer. For now, uh, like I said, I'm on an on-prem system, so I'm going to upload the extension from my 4NAP designer. First thing, of course, is I need to change my 4NAP designer to my production system. So I will quickly change my connection settings to production test, which is all valid. And after I've done that in the extensions, I can upload my extension and select my app file. I can either select the app file that I've downloaded or select the app file from my, uh, from my automatic backup location. There's no difference in the, uh, in the, app, file, in the app files themselves. I can simply select it and for now will upload it to the server, which means that if I go to my production server, sign in again, in my extensions, now I have my for now my customers uh, extension. Let's recap what we just did. The first thing we did was to enable the automatic backups of the 4NAP designer. That enabled us to copy and use the app files as we make them. Another option is to download the app file from the sandbox using the 4NAP designer. Once we had the app files for our report extension, we could upload it to production. For on-premise, we need to use the 4NAP designer. In Business Central Cloud, we can upload directly from the extensions page in Business Central. Like I said earlier, we recommend using Git source control to store your code. Some developers may prefer to use automatic build and deploy systems to publish their extensions. That's certainly possible with 4NAV reports, but that is a story for another day. Thank you for listening to me so far. Uh, I can't see any questions at the moment. If you have any questions, please type them in the uh, go to webinar question window whilst I wrap up this webinar. If you want to know more about 4NAV, you can visit 4NAV.com uh, where you can also download the 4NAV designer. If you want to use 4NAV in uh, Business Central Cloud, you can go to Microsoft App Source to find the 4NAV extension. And if you want to see more of these videos, please visit youtube.com slash 4NAV reports. If you have any questions after watching this video, uh, please send them to support at 4NAV.com. Of course, we will continue our 4NAV coffee breaks for a list of upcoming and recorded coffee breaks. Please visit 4NAV.com slash coffee break. And of course, uh, as always, if you have any topics for future 4NAV coffee breaks, uh, please let us know. And if we do a uh, video about your, uh, uh, about your subject, you will get a uh, 50 euro or, your, or dollar gift certificate as a thank you. With that, we have no questions at this moment. So thank you very much for joining me today. And I will speak to you at the next coffee break. Goodbye.